Tuna, babes, what's the rush? Why you always got to walk so far ahead of me? Because you stink. Babes, I had a wash today. You said this was a big day out. I made the effort. I've even got a fake Ralph on. Look, the horse has only got three legs. Your mum's got three legs. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Tuna, you are in a good mood. What's gotten into you today? Oh, I don't know. I've put a podcast out, so I'm feeling educated. And today, at the restaurant, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, I just love surprises. Tap the screen and shed alive. Tuna, will this surprise involve anything going up my ass? You know I love that. Not this time, Kevy Wevy, but maybe next time. Oh, that's a shame. Look, I've booked us a meal just up the road from here. A nice romantic meal. An evening, just you and I, where we can both talk about how badly we are treated by absolutely everyone, while we also totally ignore all personal responsibility for any of it. And maybe, if we're lucky, we can find a couple of new people to pin the blame on. Babes, this is the place. We're here. Are we going up the shard? We are. I just love how up the shard sounds. I love going up the shard. Babes, did you know, if it were possible, I would love someone to take me up the shard every single day. Someone like Tyrone, who would really give it some welly and make my eyes water. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a bit of Tyrone loving myself actually. Babes, up the shard is amazing. This is where billionaires and royal families hang out. So I've finally made it in life, pretending to be rich in my three-legged Ralph top with my horrendous girlfriend. Babes, enough of these fake billionaire friends, please, just for a moment. Let's go on TikTok and battle. Everyone will be jealous of us. Not now, babes. I want to read you something. Is it funny, Bones? I love that book. I'm not that good at writing. Fucking hell. I've written you a poem. It comes from the bottom of my heart. Oh, 100%. I will enjoy this. Please, begin. Okay, here we go. I once met a man who thought melted my heart, but I knew I could manipulate him right from the start. But one problem was, he just didn't see that I was a narc, the same as he. So if you have time, please hear me out. If you go on Insta, you'll hear me shout. I'll tell you the story of my GoFundMe page. I announced my daughter's abuse to try and get paid. Never loved, only hated. You've all seen this before. Now here's my story of suitcases on floors. The memories of pictures that I used to send. I'll save them for men. I am trying to end. When he calls me up, I'll bitch and moan. I'll treat him like a child, even though he's full grown. His uncle, his ex, I've messaged them all, even Vegas and Zippy. I've kept them enthralled. I'll accuse you of this. I'll accuse you of that. I'll call my boyfriend a hebophile and say he don't bath. Arguing and fighting. I don't care if I'm live. I bully my boyfriend. He's too weak to leave my side. But even then, you'll be shocked to know the lengths I have gone to, or just how low. It's fantastic. I love it. So emotional. I've never had anyone show me they care about me as much as this very moment right here. I thought it encapsulated the true essence of how I feel about you. I originally wrote it slightly differently, but later had a helping hand, making it more genuine to how I really am. Luckily for you, I'm too stupid to understand any of the words, but I absolutely love it. Thank you, baby. No, babes. Thank you for being a fool. <laughs>